So you just picked up that sweet kit of high speed RAM, but didn't set the XMP? Then you've probably sold yourself short. Let's show you how to fix that. Most of the time when you install new RAM, your motherboard will set it to its default safe boot clocks and nowhere near the speeds that you paid for. And since we're setting up our FM2 Plus testbed for an upcoming Athlon 880K review, we wanted to show you how to set your XMP or your Intel Extreme Memory Profile in your BIOS or your UEFI, and it does work on AMD boards too, as we're about to see. First off, we're going to take a baseline and show the memory speed and timings through CPU-Z and a quick run through Cinebench R15. Now you can clearly see we're running at the baseline that the motherboard set of a frequency of 1333 MHz. That's almost half of our 2400 MHz XMP that our Trident X RAM is rated at. Alright, so to correct this, it's fairly simple. All you need to do is go into your UEFI or your BIOS based on whichever motherboard you've got and what type of interface it has. Now this particular one is an ASUS Crossblade Ranger. Uh, what you got here is your different options throughout it, but you don't want to necessarily go to DRAM timing control or anything like that. This is going to be AI Overclock Tuner, which a lot of motherboards are going to have um, memory profile. It'll just say something along those lines. But you'll hit enter and it'll give you the manual option or DOCP. Now DOCP is what shows up if you're on an AMD motherboard and you want to load an XMP profile, which is the, again, the Intel Extreme Memory Profile. But it works the same way here on AMD. You're just going to hit enter. It's going to load up your XMP profile. See there, profile one, the speeds, and you'll leave everything else to auto. At that point, you just hit F10. You want to save it. See, it's going to change all the timings properly as well as the speed and the voltage. Hit enter. That's it. Now that we've gone through and set the DOCP or the XMP, depending on your motherboard platform, we verify through CPU-Z that it's running at full speed, which is 2400 MHz, and those timings are correct. Now we retest with Cinebench R15. And now that may not seem like a big boost, but it's performance that you would have otherwise left off the table, and can show much better improvements in other tests since Cinebench is more of a CPU dependent, but still being able to show benefits of faster RAM, it's important to notate that. Well guys, that's been it, and this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Feel free to subscribe, like, and share this video if you feel it may help someone out you know. And we'll see you in the next video.